we want to tell you about basic technique to play soccer. But first, let us introduce ourselves. Uh, my name is Kian. My name is Margaret. My name is Lucina. My name is Ida. Let's be start. Futsal was popularized in Montevideo, Uruguay in 1913 by Juan Carlos Seriani. The uniqueness of futsal gets attention throughout South America, especially Brazil. The skills developed in this game can be seen in the world-famous style shown by Brazilian players outdoors on a regular-sized field. Pele, the famous Brazil player, for example, developed his skill in futsal. While Brazil has always been the center of world futsal, this game now is played under Protection Federation Internationale de Football Association around the world, from Europa to Central America and North America and Africa, Asia and Oceania. The first Indonesian match was held in 1965. Paraguay won the first South America Cup. The next six South America Cup strictly were held until 1979 and all championships were swept away by Brazil. Brazil continued its dominance by winning the first Pan America Cup in 1980 and winning it again in the next race in 1984. The first Futsal World Championship was held with the help of FIFUSA. Before its members joined FIFA in 19 1889 in Sao Paulo, Brazil in 1982, ending with Brazil in first place. Brazil repaid its victory in the second world championship in Spain but suffered defeat to Paraguay in the third world championship in 1788 in Australia. The first international futsal match was held in the U.S. in December 1985 at Sonoma State University in Roner Park, California. Futsal has several types of basic technique use. In this video, we will show you some of the technique use. First basic technique use is passing. Passing consists of three kinds. There's passing using your inner leg, using your outer leg, and chipping. First, passing using your inner leg. To do it, we use our inner leg in here. Next, passing using your outer leg. To do it, we using our outer leg in here. The last, chipping. To it, we using tools and lift the ball a little bit. The next basic technique here is holding ball. Holding ball consists of three types. There's holding ball using chest, thigh, and leg. First, holding ball with chest. <laughs> In this technique you we use this part. Next, holding ball using tight. In this technique you we use this part. The last, holding ball use leg. Holding ball use leg have three types. There is holding ball with inner leg. Holding ball with lower leg. And holding ball with instep. In the technique of holding the ball using the inner leg, we use this part. In the technique of holding the ball using the lower leg, we use this part. In the technique of holding the ball using step, we use this part. The next basic technique is dribbling. There are two types of dribbling technique, namely dribbling using the inner and outer foot. And dribbling using the lower foot.
The next basic technique you is hitting ball. <laughs> to hit the ball, we can use all parts of the head except face. The last basic technique is shooting. We do shooting technique use to be able to score. There are three types of shooting technique use. There is shooting used in their leg. There is shooting use outer leg. And there is shooting use too. By doing shooting technique use using the tip of the foot wheel res result in a firmer and quite sharp kick. Kick off. The futsal game starts with kick off. To kick off, the ball is placed at the midpoint of the field and when the referee gives a signal to kick off, the ball must move towards the front, passing the center line. Kick in. The kick in is done when the ball is out. The wrong example of kick in is when the foot crosses the line and is outside the field. The wrong example of kick in is when the ball is kicked when the ball is still moving or not silent. The correct example of kick in is the ball must be silent and the foot must cross the line and be inside the field. Out ball The ball is out when one of the players make the ball out of the field, which can cause a corner kick or throw in by the opposing team. Handball Handball is a term in football when a player touches the ball by hand from the upper arm to the arm and wrist. Except for the keeper, other players are not allowed to touch the ball with their hands. The goalkeeper is limited to holding the ball in the penalty box. If that is done, the opposing team will get a free kick. If done in the penalty box, the penalty is a penalty kick. 